Alright, so today what I wanted to show you guys is what happens when we want to create a sheet metal part but maybe we don't have the gauge thickness available to us uh, from our gauge tables that we may want to use. Um, so let's roll into that and see what we can do here. If you'll notice I've got two sketches and I'm just going to create a quick lofted bend. Now you'll notice we have the option to manually input whatever value we want for our sheet metal gauge. But there are times when it is beneficial for us to actually use a gauge table. Now in this case I'm going to pick a sample table and you'll notice the range of gauges I have available go all the way from 3 to 18. But what happens if I actually want to use a gauge slightly smaller than 18? Maybe 19, 20, or 21? Well if I want to I do have the option to actually go in and edit the existing gauge tables inside SolidWorks. So let's see how that looks. So let's find those gauge tables. If I simply go to Options I can come in and actually find the file location where those gauge tables actually exist. Here you can see they're in my C drive and there you can see the path. Now let's go ahead and pull that up and take a look at that. If you'll notice the gauge tables are simply an Excel spreadsheet so it's pretty quick and easy for us to come in and edit them. Let's go ahead and open up and see what that looks like. You'll notice here is our actual gauge table and notice it does go from 3 to 18 gauge. But again, what happens if I want to expand that? Well, what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a quick Excel file that shows me what those extra gauges look like. So let's just do a quick copy and paste here into our new template. And now you can see we have our other gauges added. Now a quick save sets that up for us. So now let's come back to SolidWorks and take a look at the gauges we have available. So if I enter my lofted bin command again and now tell SolidWorks I want to use a gauge table, select my table, and now you'll notice I have a wide range of gauges available. Now not only does it go to 18, but it continues on to 22 gauge. So let's go ahead and get that completed. Now you see I can create my part and vary my gauge thickness.